Good morning guys, it's a Friday, it's early morning, another seven o'clock for me. I've got a train to catch, I'm going to London. I have got a cool sculpting consultation appointment today. So, do you remember a couple of weeks ago I showed you guys my post-workout body and I was telling you about how there's this little, this, well, it's sizable, I can grab it. This mummy tummy chunk that just won't go away, like it comes and goes and I feel like it's just not fully gonna go um, until I do something about it. I just don't understand. Remember I showed you guys, I don't know how well you can see on here, but um, you could see through my gym top or I'll just wear a gym top and show you guys later. Let's see how it goes. I'll show you a before and after if I choose to go ahead with it. Um, but through my gym top, you could see like how my upper tummy was getting really toned because you know, I've been working out, I've had a personal trainer and I've been like independently working on my fitness journey for a couple of years now and I'm getting like a six pack through at the top and then at the bottom for some reason this there's a chunk that just won't go. So I wanna figure out what that is and it feels like fat to me so fat freezing or cool sculpting seems to be the way to go so I'm going to London for the consultation. I'm gonna take you guys along with me. Just caught the train. That milk's really nice in coffee. What did I get? Oh yeah, I think I got coconut milk from that way. This is breakfast. I know, chai lattes are so sugary, she says, showing the Easter egg chocolates. <laughs> okay, oh, I just got off Bond Street. Here's the clinic. A couple of minutes walk away. Such a beautiful day. I don't know whether it's because it's a Friday. It's like a Friday, nine o'clock in the morning. Here's the clinic. Let's go in. Oh, there's a little ad for it as well outside. Oh, it's gone. There it is. Freeze your fat. Am I gonna wait? I'm gonna wait for it to come on again. Here we go. Oh, they've got 20% off. Brilliant. Let's go. Hello. Hello. I have an appointment. Just having a peek around the clinic. It's in London. Super fresh. Sorry, I'm just vlogging at the same time. Oh. <laughs> You'll see me muttering to myself. <laughs> Lovely. Hello, just filling out a consultation form on the iPad. So I want them to hopefully do my tummy and love handles, just that entire area. Just waiting to go in. Such a lovely place, it smells lovely. So I'm in the consultation room. I'm gonna have, just for privacy, I'm not gonna film like my consultant, but you guys can sit here with me as I have my consultation. Hi. Shall we get started? Hello. Let's get started. So we know that cool sculpting is for fat freezing. Mm -hmm. If I, we, and we have fat pockets on our stomach area, our flanks, which are the uh, love handles, underarms, wherever, we have loads of fat pockets. And if I show you with my hand, as if this is a, uh, a fat pocket, uh -huh. what happens with fat freezing, cool sculpting is, it freezes the fat, and it doesn't make, it doesn't make you lose weight, but it does make you more defined, and it contours the body. Right. So you could imagine it um, crystallizes the fat cells, which takes away 25% um, percent of it. So you could imagine, although you've got your fat pocket here, crystallizing it and getting rid of it, it will remove it like this and then we contour the body. 
to however you like. It can make you slimmer, give you the hourglass shape. Yeah. That's how we work on your body. We have two machines now, so we can dual sculpt the machine. Dual sculpt you, it's called. So we can do two treatments at one time to give you that definition. How, how, how can I ask a question? Right. What about mummy tummy? Because you said it doesn't lose, it doesn't make you lose weight, but it targets, because I, to me, this is a fatty pocket. That yeah. is all fat and like love handle. Yeah. That to me is fat. Yeah. So is that is that suitable for? It's perfect. You'd be the perfect candidate for oh, this. Awesome. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. So we what we work on, we'll get you assessed to see what um, applicator we'll be using on you because we have different applicators. Right. Okay. And then we'll see what one we'll use on you, and then we'll take it from there and just show you in the mirror how it would look if I push down on it, and then you can take it from there and see if you're happy. Awesome. Can I add something to yes. this? Mm -hmm. What I think is important for people to recognize from the therapy group is that therapy have invested not in the best machines for sculpting, but also the top of the range applicators as well. So these applicators, actually the fat will lay inside of the applicator a lot with a vacuum, but what will happen is that the actual applicator itself will drop down to a temperature of minus 11 degrees. It sounds extreme, but this cool sculpting the device has got ex uh, incredible safety mechanisms in place mm -hmm. that obviously regulate the temperature of that applicator. And in that minus 11 degrees, we can almost assure the crystallization of the lipids in that fat. So when it comes to your mummy tummy, yes, even though we're talking about 25%, when we're dealing with somebody of your size, that is going to be a considerable reduction. Most of the patients need between one to two rounds of treatments. Uh -huh. So you can achieve a substantial reduction. But it's all depending on what your ultimate goal is. Okay, got it. Right? Which is what we're going to consult you for. And what moment. happens to the fat? Does it get flushed out of the body? Yeah, it comes out your lymphatic drainage. Amazing. So yeah. Awesome. Over a period of eight to 12 weeks, your body naturally breaks down the debris and you basically lose. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> eight to 12 weeks. Yeah. So exciting. Yeah. Brilliant, Amazing. okay. Yeah, I saw the applicators being used at the, the Allegan event that I went to, mm -hmm. and one of the, the girls was having it done here, and she was having it done on her tummy, and she was literally just sitting there chilling. And I was like- Excuse the pun. Does it, yeah, uh, yeah, excuse <laughs> the pun. And I was like, are you in pain? Or like, is it uncomfortable? Does it hurt? Like, is that? She was like, no, she was just like sitting there. I was like, this is amazing. Are there a lot of mums who get it done? I've had a few mums in, yeah. yeah. Definitely. I can imagine because it's really hard. You work really hard to get it's your body. Just that, is really just that last that bit. Is stubborn. And yeah. like I eat fairly healthy. Like my followers know I like I try and stay as healthy as I can. I'm a little bit naughty. I do like my cakes and stuff. But it's not like I go OTT with it and I'm active. I exercise. They know I've had personal training and it's like it still won't go. And I think it's down to I'm I'm 35, so I think metabolism has something to do with it, but with it, but also kids, I imagine yeah. is it's yeah. really but you're on the right track and we will get you assessed and see what we can do. Exciting. Can I just have a look at this picture? So this kind of explains, this is a diagram showing what it does. So you've got, that's the skin and that's the fatty cells. And once, and that's a before picture, that's quite similar to my tummy actually, funnily enough. Not me though, guys. <laughs> and then you've got the freezing happening here. Cryolipolysis. That's it, cryolipolysis. Cryo is freezing, mm -hmm. lipo is fat cells. So that's freezing the fat cells there. The fat cells are then destroyed and they're naturally um, expelled from the body through your wee, basically. And that is the fat layer being reduced from there to there over a period of... It happens slowly, which shows that it is... Um, effective and I hope for long-term results because it anything that happens over a sustained period of time where you do still have to look after yourself you do still have to eat healthy you do still have to work out which I intend on doing fasting is coming up anyway so I know that my fat intake is going to reduce hopefully I'm going to get that kind of great definition and I'll have my six-pack coming lower I'm not just stopping here abruptly <laughs> the only way it will come back is you putting it back here so it is a strict diet from now on. Oh wow, sorry guys, she just said that. Once it's frozen and the fat cells are reduced, they don't come back unless you, in your diet, you've got a substantial amount of fat and you're inactive. So I did take my top off as well, guys. Um, and they've taken a full 360 of this entire area. Um, I've also taken pictures with my top on because I want to show you guys too. But for... Uh, my own reasons and obviously for the clinic as well to see before and afters I did like pull my top up and do full-on Befores by standing on one of these bad boys. This is so cool. So I stood on like Like the camera was in front of me So I stood like one-on-one -on -one and they took a picture of my tummy 
then two on two. So you get a full 360, do you know what I mean? And um, that way we can do like a full before and after comparison of this entire area. So I've taken some pictures without my top for our purposes and some pictures with the top. But I mean, either way, I think, I hope <laughs> that once it's done, even by me going like this, there will be a difference. I'm looking to go like, like that. But without having to like hold my breath, <laughs> I'll suffocate. About 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes, we've been drawing all over my tummy. It literally is like a piece of art, you guys. Like literally there's circles because they drew around the applicators. So I was looking at all the different sizes of applicators that they use. And basically they chose like according to my size and the size of my fat pads, which by the way, it turns out I have asymmetrical fat pads. Thank you very much. There's three on this side and two on this side. And basically what they did was they've drawn um, around the applicator shape to figure out the best placement for these. Um, they're like suction cups. So what they're gonna do is they're gonna place for example, a cup suction cup or an applicator here. And then they will do like, after that one's done, they'll do another one here, which kind of overlaps with this one. I'm, I'm not explaining it in the best way, but basically there's various drawings. Um, I've been a, a canvas for someone today on there and also over here on my, they call the medical term is flanks. I call them my love handle. So you see what I'm grabbing right here, you guys? Ladies, you don't even understand. I'm trying to manage my expectations and not get too excited. These guys are probably thinking I'm crazy right now, but I am, you don't even understand how excited I am. Because after, especially after leans, um, even though I gained more weight with Lovebug, I gained three stones with him and two stones with her. After her, this just would not go at all. And I think it's probably because I was like, nearing my 30s more by that time. I don't know if it's time to metabolism, but I literally, I gave up on, like I did not, it, all the stuff that I've looked up on, on Cool Sculpting dealt more with the stomach. And I didn't realize that this could actually be treated, but they were just pressing down and showing me the kinds of results I can expect after one round. I might need two, because it really depends on your body and how your body takes it. Some people's fat cells are more resilient than others. But if it's, if it's anywhere close to what I've just seen, I am like, it's gonna make me so happy. You don't even understand, like, I'm so excited. Thank you. Yeah. The different areas we Oh, nice one. These are the banana rubs I was telling you. Oh, yeah. The upper arms, Kulbinga wings. Yeah, yeah. Just so you've That's also really stubborn for a lot of people. It just doesn't budge, yeah. I used to target that with weights and it took me forever to reduce that but eventually it did get reduced so I'm, I'm fine with that that's so that's what I'm the flanks is what I'm gonna be doing which is the love handles and I'm also gonna be doing there the stomach so I'm just looking at all the other bits thighs double chin remember I saw that at the event so basically the whole thing with pool sculpting is that it's a permanent reduction of the number of fat cells. So for those of you who are into science, you're gonna love like learning about this as much as I did. Still please, thank you. Yeah, so basically at puberty, you have a set number of fat cells in the body. So for example, you have, might have like a million fat cells in the body that number will stay consistent forever. You'll only have a million. When you gain weight, what happens is those fat cells expand. So they can expand or they can shrink, but the number of fat cells remains the same. Now with cool sculpting, what they do is they reduce the number of those fat cells, which naturally you can't do unless those fat cells are exposed in a controlled way using technology like that to a temperature of, I believe they said minus 11 degrees. And that's why you need obviously all the safety precautions and all of that. It's fun fact, it got discovered when scientists found that young children who were sucking on popsicles ended up having little dimples in their cheeks because the fat was getting reduced. So they kind of looked into that and then like in the 1980s, they found that women who were horse riding in colder climates somewhere in America, 
they ended up having like dimpling in their thighs and that was because the snow was settling there obviously exposing them to very low temperatures for long periods of time and they found that the fat was reducing from there as well the fat cells were reducing so they researched it as as they do in these things um, and then I believe in 1999 they started to develop the technology and then it finally got cleared, FDA approved, like had all the research done, fully cleared and safe in 2005. So it has been around for ages, um, so that makes me feel better because I know that it's tried and tested and trialled and to get FDA approved is no joke, so you know that it's, it's legit I can't wait, I'm so excited. <laughs> Do all your patients get this so excited? Yeah. I'm trying to, this is me, by the way, managing my expectations. So this is me trying not to get too excited. I'm just on their Instagram because I want to see people getting it done. Oh, these are some great results. <laughs> Love a good facial. Ah, one more. Cool sculpting, okay. There we go. That's ah, the okay. Okay. Got it. So that's the applicator there. Yeah, that's the Being connected to the machine, yep. So what they do is after that comes off, they massage that area mm -hmm. to loosen up the fat cells and to help the expulsion from the body which will be interesting, because I imagine my stomach's gonna be really numb <laughs> afterwards. And my, does that numbness last? I, probably not, right? It, no, it does. Oh, does we, it? Yeah. We do okay. say it can last for a few weeks. For a few weeks? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. But it will grow back. Well, you know that's working as well then, that's yeah. it. Yeah. Legit, it's done the job. Okay. All right, that's good to know, actually. Okay, cool. Then, then is probably the good time to get my belly button done because it's not, I'm kidding, no. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, not until the treatment is fully done, right. you're not going to see me with any body piercings when I come back, no. So I'm just having a look at the actual process, so there's the applicator cup guys, this is what, these are I guess the patterns that were drawn onto my tummy, That's right. it's the shape of that and where they're going to place this, so it has a little suction cup sort of thing, and then that's a membrane that goes on to prevent um, frostbite yeah. and then so the applicator goes on top of there that's that's gonna be me hopefully in a couple of days and then they put this on and each applicator is I believe the ones I'm doing are 35 minutes that's right. um, but there are some that are 45 too and mine should be 35 minutes um, so total how much time would that take well we're gonna do see we're not sure we're gonna do the four or the five okay so we'll decide on the day but it will probably be somewhere Sorry. between um, somewhere between one and two hours. Yeah. Somewhere between one and two hours. Okay, just finished up and I got a lovely goodie bag at the end of it. Going back to the tube station and then I'm going to be going and meeting May. I think she's at Oldgate station. So that was really interesting, guys. I really am trying to manage my expectations. Um, it's really hard to describe how I imagine I will feel if the areas that we were discussing today get reduced in fat. Because I had Lovebug when I was pretty young, like I got married at 22, um, and then I had him at 24. And I feel like, you know, no regrets whatsoever, totally worth it. But the body just never goes back to how it was. And I feel like, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with generally sort of your hip size gets bigger, but the fat, the, those stubborn bits of fat that I worked really hard on um, when I was doing hardcore like personal training and, and doing more weight, the fact that they wouldn't budge, I think it really took a toll on me. I was like, oh great, do you know what? It's just never gonna happen and, um, I'm really excited to see what happens there. I think I will feel so much more confident. And my advice to anyone thinking about this is you should do it for yourself, first and foremost. Don't do it for anyone else. I mean, obviously I cover, so 
you know, people might be thinking like, why do you want to do it? I'm doing it for myself. I'm doing it because I want to feel comfortable in my body. Hubsy is really not bothered. He's, I mean, he always like says the right things. He's always like, you know, you're perfect the way you are. You're not, you don't have any fat there. Clearly I do, babe. <laughs> they marked it all out and I've left the marks on my tummy to show him as well. Um, but, and I know it's not crazy extreme. I mean, cool sculpting isn't for anyone who's obese anyway. Um, where am I? Am I kind of lost? I'm not. Um, it's not for to tackle any obesity, um, but it is there to do the kind of thing that I want to do, so why not? But you should do it for yourself. Like I said, Hubsy's not bothered. He's like, you don't even need it. And I don't think, I think he's skeptical. I think that he thinks it's not going to make a difference. Um, but I mean, looking at the accuracy that they use just now, it was very much a clinical sort of scientific way of accurately measuring, drawing out the way they were taking pictures, the way they were drawing it on my drawing sort of the placement of where the applicators will go on my tummy really assessing where the peak of the fat pad was like it was a proper thorough consultation and I get it now it wasn't just a sit down and hey you know what can we do for you it was a full-on proper assessment so I really can't wait let me try and find the tube station before I get lost I know I don't I don't know why we go to central all the time when there's nice areas like this oh I love that So we're in Spitalfields. Mei Mei, how did your meeting go? Uh, Promising? Well, yes. yes. Really Exciting stuff? Yes. Doing big stuff? Definitely. I've always told you you've got so much potential and you are capable of so much more. I'm really excited about the project. And you deserve to be appreciated and given the resources and the platform. Yeah, You're welcome, girl. Come on, should we go and get some food? Because our yeah. train is going to be. I want to come back here. Do you? I want to come and shop for the house. What in this area? Yeah. Do you want me to change my train state train ticket? Can't we just stay? Omg, that is so good. Like, you don't oh, stuff like this. I know. What you want to do house shopping today, May? Well. It's a lovely day, isn't it? It is a lovely day. And like, we're it's just area. my train ticket's booked. Is yours a, an off peak anytime? Yeah. Oh man. What we just say? <laughs> just curious. What wisdom do you have? Oh, I like this. Oh, this is great. I love this. I'm going to give this to Leans. What can I get for Lovebug? this I really love this look at this spark happiness 50 ways to celebrate the everyday look at this you light it I know you just recall a happy memory and share it with someone who was there yeah, and then you put it in there and then you pick another one cute I'm thinking of getting this but it won't go with my theme in the corridor You need it. It's like a tealy green, May. That one. You need it, I insist. Seriously, I thought it was going to be chilly. The weather's suddenly gone amazing. And I haven't even bought my sunglasses. Any oodles. Trying Itsu for the first time. I've got veggie soup, prawn crackers, 
got some water. Gonna nick some of May's something, sushi maybe. Something. Thing is, I wanted sushi, but the salmon themed, you know, like raw salmon doesn't look appealing. Is that raw salmon too? It doesn't look appealing. Plus, I'm allergic to avocados, so I have to pick them out. Then I was like, basically, I'm gonna be left with just the rice <laughs> on the outside. And a mummy. Come to a sweet shop. This so reminds me of my childhood. Oh my gosh, 90s sweets. Hello. First time ever, Hubsy isn't on time because I couldn't see him. Then I turned the corner, and there he was. I love mood of my stars. Hello. All right, to give me a lift. Give a lift. Assalamu alaikum, my darling. Oh, how did the weather so get so good? How are you, my babies? Including you, hello. Hi, how are you? My biggest what baby. You I had that? good rest today. You had good rest? Oh, lucky for shopping? some, I'm so sleepy. Nothing whatsoever. So sleep deprived. Guys, should we go for ice cream? Should we get some gelato? No, yeah. we need to get some food. Cool. food. We had lovely lunch oh, at Itsu. Oh. And guess what? I got a present for both of you. Yeah. Right? Mmm. What about me? Your present is the biggest present, which is me. Oh. I've arrived back from London. How was it? Oh, I like a bag. It's a really nice bag. Which one? Right, me? The grey one. That red one, that's a good I don't like oh. stiff bags like that. Yeah. yeah. It looks so uncomfortable. Alright. Way to kill my bars. Anywho. Um, well, yeah, we can go somewhere that does lunch and so, gelato. What are you doing next? Somewhat, night? darling? What did I do? Yeah. I to gelato. Gelato, yes, that's what I'm thinking. I mean, we finally have good weather. We need to hey, celebrate it with something. Yeah. Oh. So I was thinking, um, we get uh, we'll got see, from thingy. Have lunch first, sorry? And then uh, we get yeah. got. And then. A shoulder. I booked us in for massage tomorrow at 2.30. So guys, can I tell you my plan for tomorrow? Yeah. So, sorry, go on Leeds, what were you saying? Do you not tell me when you go on my lunch here? Yeah. Yes. The answer is yes. So, why don't we get gelato right now? Why don't we go to Madison's and get gelato plus lunch? But, that's only if you're going to get lunch. You don't want lunch from there? No, I don't want lunch from there. I don't want to sit down and have lunch there. Okay. Where would you like to have lunch? That you also does ice cream. There, no. oh, yeah, it is all bready. I mean, kids can eat there. Madison. No, no, no. Do you guys want to go Konax? Do you want Konax? They're all bready too. No. Yeah. What do you feel like? Hang on, let Dada decide because Dada's more restricted. He doesn't want bread. I agree with the bread. Then what? What are you gonna have then? Rice. Let's see what they got there. And then once we're there, I'll tell you pl the plan for tomorrow. How's that? Okay, let's Once you're sat down, ready for lunch. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, but are you sure you wanna go for nice? Hasn't the weather just like improved yeah, everyone's moods? I don't even mind being good. It's Friday today. And it's Friday. What do we get? Uh, what do we get? I will give you your present Famous when we're there. Chips. It's a surprise. Okay. Sorry, what's that, babe? There's a new shop open up there for Famous Fish and Chips. Oh, there's a noodle bar. Do you know that opened up recently? All right. A noodle bar. Yeah. Um, I read it the other day. Babe, I had Itsu for the first time. OMG, the soup was delosh. I would totes go again. I'm sure well, it's Itsu in Leicester, isn't it? Me off by my car. First? Yeah. Do I have to come all the way back then? Well, how long are we going to be here? Why don't you leave your bags? Do you feel like a stroll down there? You leave Chili flavors and salad is really nice. Have you ever tried it? Well, how about we try something completely different, something completely different in a different area? Boudot. All together. Boudot. Boudot. <laughs> <laughs> 
Liz, my baby, is such my darling <laughs> angel. I know. I had. I had. They weren't keen. I took them for special meals. I'm seeing Game of Thrones everywhere, babe. I saw the Tyrell's crisps and I thought, oh, how's Tyrell? Then I saw a car that says Megan or Megane on it and I thought Clegane. Megan. Megane. <laughs> Whatever. To me, I see Clegane, right? <laughs> I swear I'm going crazy. Sleep deprivation's made me lose my mind. And then I keep thinking, the and I keep thinking, I ah, know nothing. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Stuck oh, look, look at that little bit there. Obviously it's taking forever, so the benefit of having Netflix on your phone is when you've been meaning to watch Homecoming for ages, you can get started. Season 7, here we come. Do you like it? Yeah. Mother of Dragons. Why have you got from me yet? Mother of Dragons. Well, Mother of Dragons, but not me. How dare you? When are you going to get a picture of me? There's never been a picture of me on any of her tops saying this is my husband. 